Morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to tell you about another great sunscreen. I actually have two more sunscreens that I've discovered, um, but I'll do the other one in another video. But today we're talking about this. This is the Ultra Sun SPF 50 Face Fluid. Um, the full title is Daily Moisturising, Brightening and Anti-Pollution UV Defence Fluid. So um, I first reviewed this or I first ordered it and felt it and was like, oh, this is going to be a Bare Minerals dupe. But actually, it's about the same price and but it does feel very similar to the bare minerals one so just to give you an idea of what it's like so it's a fluid you can hear you kind of have to shake it up um, it's 28 pound it is SPF 50 PA++ um, and like I said it feels the same as the bare minerals you can see it is a very very thin fluid and remember I said that I love those kinds of sunscreens um, the ingredients in this are where it differs because the, the main ingredient in the Bare Minerals one is titanium dioxide. The main ingredients in this product are ingredients because there's definitely four. The top four sunscreens are Tinazorb, Tinazorb M and Tinazorb S and then Juvenal A and Juvenal T. And they are, I guess you could say, more sort of modern sunscreens that um, are thought to have less hormone destructing problems and um, but that it's yet to be tested you know that but they are more more modern sunscreens so this one does also have titanium dioxide in it though so um number one on this is tinazorb m number two is titanium dioxide number three is tinazorb s number four is juvenile a and number five is juvenile t so i've done a video on tinazorb m and s um I haven't done a video on Juvenal A and T. I may well do an ingredient spotlight on that at some point. But just something to note about these are it has been shown that Tinazorb, the full spectrum of Tinazorb, has been shown to cause contact dermatitis in some people. So it can cause allergies. So it's something that I'm sort of a bit wary of. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm one of those people that have allergies to it. But it's something to be aware of if you've got sensitive skin. Juvenal A and Juvenal T... Um, or Juvenal in general is thought to cause problems for um, aquatic life, basically. I didn't know that until I looked in, until I discovered that this had Juvenal in and looked at it, but I'll talk about that more if I do an ingredient spotlight, which is definitely something to be aware of. Um, the, the thing about both of these modern sunscreens, or, or four of these, Tinazorb and Juvenal, they're all thought to be very photostable and to last a little bit longer. So they're, they're good sunscreens if you're going to be out in the sun for a long time. So perhaps a, a good holiday sunscreen. Uh, there is no fragrance and alcohol in this at all. Um, this is a 40 ml bottle, I believe. Yeah, 40 ml bottle. And like I said, it's 28 pound. So it works out at 70 pence per gram. So it's still an expensive one, um, but you, it doesn't take much to give you coverage. That's one good thing with it being thinner. It doesn't leave a cast. I couldn't see any cast at all, but let me have a look at the reviews. Yeah, there's no, yeah, this one had no um, bad reviews. I looked at the reviews on Marks and Spencers and the reviews are excellent. Like there was one, I think, review and it said something like they couldn't get their bottle to work or something like that. So really, really good reviews on this. I couldn't find anybody saying that it, it looked terrible. Um, there will be, these will be nano, by the way. The modern sunscreens like Tinazorb and Juvenal are generally nano particles, which is why they won't leave a white cast. I have used this on its own in the morning. I no other moisturiser at all, no oil underneath, etc. And it, it is very, very moisturising. Um, you know, doesn't leave my skin feeling tight. I've had no issues with it at all. Like I said, so far, I've, I don't think I've had any um, issues with breakouts, uh, not with breakouts, sorry, with the allergy side of things. But I have had allergy issues on my neck. They're, they're not showing as much at the moment, so you won't see them. But my skin here feels like crocodile skin. Um, and I keep getting a flare up of these red rings and patterns of allergies and so I'm going to keep an eye on whether or not it is this or this ingredient because the other one has also got tinazorb in it that I said I was going to review. There was another ultra sun sunscreen in my other video which was the mineral one if you if you remember I think that was the one that made my skin feel a little bit tight with it being just mineral. So um, this compared to the bare minerals prep step there isn't much of a difference they're both about the same price um, in terms of feeling anyway, you know, they're both great under makeup, both both moisturising, neither leaves a great white cast. I would say actually that so far this has better reviews. There were a couple of um, bad reviews about the Bare Mineral Prep Step, although it was overall good. Um, so the only difference really is that this has got the Juvenal and the Tinazorb in, which some people would prefer 
if you don't get on with titanium dioxide this has got less titanium dioxide in it um this these not more modern sunscreens are thought to perhaps last longer so again like i said maybe a a better holiday sunscreen um, but that's really all the differences are so that's everything for this one only a short video but there's not a huge amount to say about it let me know if you've tried this and what you think i have already had one comment um from a viewer saying that they are using it and love it and i really do love it as well but um like i said what the one thing i'll be watching out for is do i have does my problem get worse on my neck when i use tinazorb um and if it does then that would be a no for me but i would happily repurchase this one that's everything. Let me tell you what I'm wearing makeup wise. I have got on the Hourglass um, stick foundation. I have got on my eyes. It's a whole combination of things on my eyes actually. I used a Morphe palette. I don't know the number. It's you know just one of those square palettes with a number on it, 40 or something like that. And then I used a little Natasha Denona, also got a number, number five, a mini palette. Um, and then I even put a little bit of a Colourpop kind of shimmer on top so it's a real mixture today um on my cheeks is hourglass ambient lighting powder in radiant magenta and then on my lips is the australis lipstick girl boss lipstick it's called and the color is couture and these earrings are from pretty little thing and that's everything thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon